What is up ladies and gentlemen? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I'm currently making my ugly Christmas sweater designs. Um, so let's have a look at this uh, website designed by humans. They sell some really cool apparel. So right here we have some ugly Christmas sweater. Um, we're going to be doing something roughly like this. So this is the idea we're trying to go towards. Um, the, the design is going to be mostly, we're going to put this on merch by Amazon. So I'm going to use some of their templates and let's begin. So last year I was using elements I got from, um, you know, Factor websites. So I would kind of put it all together, um, bring in an image and maybe put a saying. So I was kind of building it like that. So there are several websites you can kind of get vector um, Christmas design patterns. You can kind of use this, look into the licensing and what you can use it with and what not. Um, I use FreePick and I have a premium membership. So I do download vectors from this website and I kind of build my own patterns and kind of use uh, these vector artworks in my designs. So I got here my layout. I'm using uh, Merch by Amazon's template and I'm gonna exclude some things right here. So I, I want this whole middle section out of here. So I'm just gonna delete that. And you can get this done also on, you know, some services where you can request like ugly Christmas patterns or our ugly Christmas design. And then you can use these elements in your own design. Now, what I typically used to do is um, get some artwork or make some artwork Right here, we're going to use something I did on Procreate. I'll show you. So I got a cat that's a bit upset. So I'm bringing this illustration onto Photoshop. So I'll just paste it in there. I'm going to scale it up. So right here is roughly where I would have stopped normally. But I actually found this pretty cool plugin it's in Creative Market. So we're going to go into Creative Market and I'll kind of show you what this plugin can do and why I like it and why I'm currently using for my ugly Christmas sweater designs. All right, so we're in Creative Market. Put in Christmas sweater. You can put Christmas sweater pattern, ugly Christmas uh, designs, kind of look for stuff like that. So right here we have a lot of results. You can definitely purchase some of these patterns. So I've, some of these right here are patterns that you can purchase and use. Have a look at the license. You want to be able to have access to use it commercially. So I'm going to put some links down below of some other styles or um, variations of these actions that you might be able to use. But in this video, we're going to be using this one. Right, so as you can see, for fifteen dollars, you can you have unlimited commercial projects, unlimited per personal projects, and unlimited sales of end products. So what this action does is transforms an image into this ugly Christmas sweater style patterns that uh, you will see. So you can t turn a vector into this, also an image into that. And you would also get, um, so these are the styles or the sizes of the pattern that is being used. And right here, we also have some already graphics you are able to build your pattern with. So all this comes together. And there are other options on Creative Market. So what I'm usually doing now with my designs, and I'm seeing a bit more success using this style with my sales. Uh, as opposed to last year where I wasn't doing this and I was just kind of putting things together and sometimes my uh, just putting a, a vector image like this onto the shirt. I didn't I saw sales, but using this style I'm, I'm doing now, I, I see that I'm getting more m momentum and seeing a bit more success. Now, I want to go into my actions. It's right there. I already have this ugly uh, knitting... Um, plugin right there if you follow the instructions set it up you have to do a few steps but once you're in you have this thing installed um, 
if you go down here to 100 pixels, it basically, I think it would be for images that are more like silhouettes. And the lower or the lower the pixels, I think it will be for images that are you'd want more detailed. I usually go around here, 50, 40, 30. So we'll do 30 here. We'll press play. The plugin will do its work. Um, right here, usually with the levels, what I do is try to make sure I can see the cat and roughly the colors that I want. So I'll go for, let's go for uh, 16. Let's go for 18. All right, so let's give 18 a try. Right here as well, play around and see how your image works out. I can see that um, when I go more left, I can kind of see the whiskers. And when I go more right, the whiskers disappear and you'll probably have empty spaces. So I want the whiskers to appear slightly. I think that will work. Let's give that okay. And right there we have our cat. So this was the original design and then transformed it into that pattern. So let's, I'll select all, I'll copy it. I'm gonna get this out of here. Put the, my cat there. Resize it a little bit. And there you go. So now I'm thinking I, I do need a little bit more detail. So we're gonna do this process again. So last time I used 30, I believe I need some more detail. So we're gonna go to 20 pixels, press play. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, usually what I do is I go here into cur uh, curves and adjust this a little bit, make my darkers dark and my light colors a bit more poppy or just bring it just a little bit. All right, so here I can actually see the design a little bit better. I will eliminate uh, some of these ones right there. So I'm just gonna erase it. Um, all right, so there we have the cat. I'll adjust this right over here. Um, so, a lot of times I just would upload this, maybe put some things around it, some snowflakes. Um, but I see that a lot of the times um, image and text work a lot better. So let's have a look at see what kind of saying we can put on this t-shirt. So I'm a Merch Informer. I'm on Merch Hunter. I'm looking on the top selling cat designs. And right here we'll have, you know, some um, some of the best selling t-shirts um, that is cat related. Now, if you're also looking into keywords, this is a great place to also look for ideas for sayings. Noodles, so, you know, I guess a lot of people uh, do cat designs with noodles. And there's a lot of taco cats. So what I was thinking of doing is, I saw this one, um, this thing is somewhat popular, the ill people. So there, there's cats and there's ill people. So I'm going to put ill Christmas. This cat does seem to be a bit upset. So we'll do that. We want some a white font. So I'm just going to type out ill it, uh Christmas. All right, so I have Ill Christmas typed out. I'm gonna be picking a different font. Now I don't want the font to be too crazy just because we're gonna be using the action to transform it into that kind of knitting ugly Christmas sweater style. So I think this is somewhat will work. So I'm gonna size it the way I want it. I want it all the way to the to the edge of this design. All right, so let's use the action again. So I'm gonna use the 50 pixels. Since it isn't a detailed design, it don't necessarily uh, need um, a lot of these little um, patterns in it. 
I usually with text, I usually just leave it with two. It's been it's actually been working pretty well. That's okay. And there you have it. Ew Christmas. So I'll, sometimes it's not exactly how I want it. I don't really want these to be attached. So what I really do is just go in and clean it up myself. So right here, I just want it to be separate. I think I'm okay there. Where else? Right there. All right, so let's bring our design in. I'm gonna need to resize it, make it a bit smaller. Bring it down to the edge. All right, so let's just add a few more things, see what I can find. All right, listen, thank you for watching the video. I hope this kind of helped you out in seeing other ways to do these kinds of designs. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, last year, I was kind of doing the long way, kind of taking my time doing each layer. And I wasn't even thinking of doing anything close to this because I knew it was just going to take a lot of time for me. Um, I could definitely hire a designer or hire a company that would be able to make these designs for me. But I like learning. I like to do this kind of stuff myself. Um, so this is what I'm currently doing this year. And I've been able to sell a, a few here and there. And I'm hoping the sales will increase since we're not in December yet. And there is still some time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.